Hello, everybody, and welcome back to all new movie news. Brian McDonald. I'm your host, Brian McDonald, and today we have a brand new Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist with Kevin Sorbo update. So, uh, literally, it's a video, and uh, let's get into it. Um, real excited for this movie, so let's get to it. Roll the video. Greg and Kevin, how you guys doing? Doing amazing. Fantastic. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. He's had, he's had a, a an all star week this week. This week has been all about him. He's very selfish, but it's awesome <laughs> what he's doing. <laughs> well, listen, there's a lot to be excited about. You guys are filming the new Left Behind film, and I've got a lot of questions for you, a lot that the audience is going to want to know. I'm excited to chat with you. Kevin, I'm going to start with you because you've done so much in Hollywood, and you and I have talked so many times. Um, this is a, you know, really Left Behind is a sort of legacy brand that people really love, and this is something that obviously you're well acquainted with, but what was it for you that made you want to dive into not only directing, but also to starring in this film? Well, I mean, obviously I've known about the Left Behind books for forever. And uh, really my tie-in with the Jerry Jenkins part of, you know, one of the authors Left Behind was working with Dallas Jenkins on my first really faith-based movie called What If, that you're aware of. And uh, I can't believe that's 11 years ago filming that. So Dallas has remained a friend since then. And uh, I knew about the movies from before, obviously that Nicolas Cage was in and Kirk Cameron. And... Uh, I've been talking, um, you know, Paul Lalonde about this for about seven years now. <laughs> We've been talking a long time about getting this off the ground. And uh, there was no way that anything else was really, for me, going to get in the way for me and want to be part of this. Uh, the directing part is just is obviously just a, a big bonus for me. Um, just But to be in it, uh, playing the role of Ray is, uh, is an honor as well. So uh, I love movies like this, as you know. I love movies that have hope and the redemption and laughter and love and things that we need more than ever in this world and this crazy divisive world we live in. And we're hoping movies like this will uh, be a positive impact on people around the world. Yeah, and that's such a, a, a funny small world story, right? Because you've got Dallas Jenkins, who's the son of Jerry Jenkins, the writer of the original Left Behind series. And you worked with Dallas on that film, as you said. And yeah, so you're you're behind the camera, you're in front of the camera on this. now. Now, Greg, for you, I'm really curious. You're playing Buck Williams. This is a big role. It's a role that um, obviously other actors have played in the past. There's some big shoes to fill, and I know you're going to do a great job. How did you How did you prepare to dive into this role? Well, in the total amount of, what, three days that I had to prepare for? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so it's a quick backstory. It's really fun. I have a, a, a little... Um, connection as well my my dad was a huge fan of all the books and i can still see it sitting in the fourier we actually have the books right there and so growing up i always just saw the books sitting there and i, I don't know why they placed it there but <laughs> but but it, it was fantastic um so anyways it was just really exciting to, to be make sure you that. remembered to make sure you remembered that you remembered <laughs> what was to come that's why exactly but um now as far as preparing goes i mean i i did as as much as I could to scan through the books, um, obviously watch the movies again, and uh, just decided to enter into this role with my own take as well, and just um, how I could personally relate to to Buck and to his story, just not only in the scenario that it's happening, but just with his relationship with God and in my own personal life. So that's how that's how I kind of jumped right in in the few days I had to get ready for Buck. So, what is the most compelling part? of the left behind universe for you, Greg? Like, what is the thing about it that you just find so interesting that made you say, hey, I want to dive into this project? Well, definitely the rapture. I mean, just growing up as a Christian and, and believing that someday Jesus is going to come back and, and we're all going to jump up there and hang out with him. I mean, that's that's what's exciting to me. That's so it's really exciting to kind of live in a world where this is actually happening. I mean, your your imagination, you know, you can just have a heyday with that. So. So I think that that for sure. Yeah, I mean, what what event is more important than that, right? So yeah, absolutely. And then Kevin, so I want to get spoilers out of you. I don't know that I'll be able to, but I'm really curious, what can people expect? Because you obviously, you've entered into this universe now, you are directing this, you are starring in it. What can the audience expect from this version of Left Behind? Well, I think it's, I think there's a, it's a grittier feel to it. I mean, the world's a whole different place right now. And 
what's what's great about um, you know what what the writers have brought to this is brought to the reality of what we're facing right now in the world. It feels like the rapture's just down the road right now. Yeah. You know, with and our, the own Sodom and Gomorrah that we're living in right now, and it's 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 unbelievable with the anger and the hatred and all this divisiveness that is out there, which I mentioned earlier. And this is a movie to me that uh, sort of projects there's still hope out there. There's always a chance to go down a, a different road. You know, I. I I'm a big fan of The Road Less Traveled um, by Frost, and I say I want to turn The Road Less Traveled into a super highway, and I'm hoping a, a movie like this makes that happen. Yeah, I mean, do you do you think, um, Kevin, that this is the type of film that can help refocus people? You mentioned what's going on in the world. We know the world is incredibly chaotic right now, that there's a lot of distraction. Is this a film that can bring people back? Oh, there's no question. I mean, you, you saw it in COVID. I mean, when they, set, they, say, they say churches aren't necessary and aren't essential, and all of a sudden, everybody was doing going online. Well, what happened was that um, I know from two churches that I, I know very high, tight connections with that um, when they did their videos, they started getting hundreds into thousands of more people that wouldn't normally go. And these people, you know, they're alone, they're in their homes, they're with their families, whatever it may be. But, you know, this whole COVID thing started shutting people up. This government's made us, you know, fear is such an amazing weapon. They were looking for answers. People started going, oh, my gosh. It's like the old adage, you know, there's no atheists in foxholes, right? I mean, if you don't have a belief at that time and you realize any day you could die in a war, well, if people start asking questions about, well, I hope there is something down the road, that might change my mind. So, yeah, I think this will, uh, uh, you know, get the push that we need. We need we need the faith audience out there to get this thing out there as well. It's very important for them to get out there. This is a movie that we could use to, to harvest. We're called the harvest, right? And so this is uh, the perfect tool out there to get people to be involved because it's easy. It's harder, I think, for people, hey, you want to come to my church? But hey, you want to come see a movie? Yeah. I think that's an easier thing to have happen. And people will, uh, the lesson will be in there and they yeah. can take what they want from it. That's true. Yeah, and, and Greg, why do you think, I mean, here's the thing, we can we can read scripture and obviously Revelation is a book that I think confuses a lot of people and a lot of, not just Revelation, there are other elements of prophecy in scripture that create a lot of debate. And really though, when you're reading scripture, it's sometimes hard to imagine what these things will look like here you have that opportunity. So why do you think it is important that we take those ideals, those prophecies, those things we see in scripture and bring them in this artistic form? Well, I mean, one way is just to be able to, to ground those ideas and make it more relatable so people can truly understand. Because you're right. I mean, it, it is confusing to read sometimes. And the Bible has a ton of parables in it that, you know, um, you, you can try and relate to. But using this creative avenue and, and through a movie, people can really watch this and, and just kind of personally relate to what potentially might it be like in the end time. So, yeah. I saw a sign go to my church one time and said, read the Bible and scare the hell out of you. And I love that. I thought it was such a good, you know, they all write good funny little quips out there. <laughs> well, it's like you're trying to piece it together and understand it. I mean, I just read Revelation again, and I've read it a, a ton of times, right, throughout my life. And, you know, I'm, I'm like jotting down questions as I'm reading through, and I'm looking up different pieces of it. And I think it's just, it's, it's really interesting to have a chance to sit back and watch you guys bring something to life. And we don't know that every detail of the, the script of Left Behind is going to be how it goes, but it's, it, it shows what could happen right right kevin oh it's no question i mean that's that's the whole thing about you know we you can't predict the future that's why you know when i did a show like andromeda and you do all the stuff that's thousands at the end of the future you can't say that'll ever happen how do you know you know <laughs> this is like down the road this is way into the future and I, I think this ties in i did i was honored to be part of a documentary last year actually this year the number one documentary on amazon for five months called right. before the wrath and it deals with this and it ties in with that and I think down the road, maybe we should couple the DVDs together and put it as a package deal. Because I think it's um, it's very educational. I think this movie is going to be educational in a lot of ways as well. But it's bring it, as I said, it's grittier. There's more drama in it. There's more action in it. Um, I think people will love it. And, I, and I, I also encourage people that have never seen the other ones pro previously, the one with uh, Kirk and uh, Cameron and also with uh, Nicolas Cage, I think people should see those things as well because there's a lot of lessons to be taught in those things, a lot of ways to learn about, um, you know, what's coming down the road, guys. So I think there's more to uh, the, the world. I mean, I've had atheists say, well, prove it to me. And I go, well, somebody made this table, right? And I go, well, there you go. Somebody to make this and it wasn't you or me. So <laughs> I can't figure out who did it. But, Simple you know, as that. It's, it's, somebody was here before us. It is. 
but it, it is sort of an insane idea. I was talking to my kids about this and I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old and I, and I said the same thing to my daughter. You know, you see a tree out there, you see a table here, you see these things. They didn't just emerge. Somebody created these items in our house, right? Somebody made them. I mean, it seems like the most basic argument that you could ever have on the face of the earth and yet so many reject even that premise. Things just don't appear out of nowhere. We have no evidence of that ever happening. Uh, but final question for you both, and Greg, I'm going to start with you. What is success for you outside of entertaining people and making a great movie at the end of the day with Left Behind? What is success? Well, success would, one, just be building relationships here, but then, you know, not to be cliche, but ultimately it's just to share the, the gospel with people through this movie. I mean, I, I know that might sound like, oh, I'm just trying to answer a good interview question, but I, I genuinely had a few moments where, you know, I just said a prayer and I was like, Lord, just let me do a good job in this role and let this role speak to people. So, you know, if I can, if I can do that through doing what I love to do acting, I mean, how cool is that? It, it, that really hit me the other day. Like I, I can actually do what I love to do and still minister to people, which is really kind of awesome. So that would be success. If even one person just kind of took away a positive message from this, that would be success. I love that. And, and you know, for you, Kevin, you are kind of, you, you're on twofold parts of this, right? You are the mastermind pulling the strings and directing it from behind. And you are one of the people in front of the camera. For you, what is success for this film? Uh, that it reaches more people than any faith-based movies ever reached before in the history of mankind. That's it. Oh, that is success oh. for me in this movie right here. Um, that's a tall. That's a tall order. It's a we tall have to order, but that, like, but like is, I said, it, 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 comes, it comes down with the foot soldiers out there that have faith and have belief, and they want to get out there and and, and make a difference. Because you know, too many people sit there and they sort of give up. And failure is such a positive thing for people. And I think you got to get to a point. You go, you know what? It takes one drop to get the ocean going, right? So all it takes is people to not let limitations hold them back, especially their own. Get out there and just do the work. Well, that is a great way to end this. We're going to be talking more with you guys as we get closer to the film. Greg and Kevin, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks right, a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm really excited for this movie. Uh, good update. Um... They're still filming, so that's good. And um, they still haven't revealed who Chloe and Bruce are. So I'm really eager to see who they're played by, even Hattie. But they just haven't announced that yet. So once we know more about that, I'll let you guys know. But I think it's going to be good since they're going back to the books for the most part of what they can. If you guys remember the video where... It's actually got a message back from the official Left Behind Facebook page uh, that I showed you guys. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for it. But it's kind of crazy. And I'm just really excited for this movie and see what they can do to it. Because I was a big fan of the books and I'm really eager to see them bring it to life for a good time this time. A more faithful adaptation, which is something I'm wanting for it. And the director, I mean, the producer, Paul Lalonde, said that it will follow the book. So that's good. There's going to be some more modern twist to it because it's more based in the 90s, the books are. So it's kind of weird. But I'm real excited, guys. So, if you guys want to, leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think of this movie and if you guys are excited for it, especially with Kevin Sorbo in it. He's a really good Christian actor and I'm so excited to see him as Rayford. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Um, please like, share, subscribe and, and hit that, uh, so hit the like button because Literally, it will help grow the channel. Um, please subscribe to help grow out the channel. And once people see that you are subscribed, they'll want to subscribe more and more for the content. So, if you guys want more content, please subscribe. Also, uh, hit that bell beside the subscribe button. Click all, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. Also, share the video. To get reach as many people as you can about this channel.
because I will be doing updates on mul multiple movies. So, right now I'm doing Left Behind, but I also do Percy Jackson and other stuff, so check out the rest of my content, and I'll have more of the different content coming soon, like Weird But True. So, yeah, um, this is Brown Control signing out. I'll see you out there, movie lovers.